Hi guys and welcome to a Mike's Positively Technical World video review. Today we're going to be having a look at the Works WG749E. It is a 40 volt brushless uh, 46 centimeter um, cup and it's a uh, it's a mower. <laughs> um, let's go get, get down straight away with the down and dirty. Um, so it's a plastic deck. Um, it's got a 46, 46 centimetre uh, cutting blade on it. Uh, it's just, it's got adjustable handles as well. We'll go through those in a second. Handles which I might add just about fit within the filming shot. Uh, we'll take this off as well. And first of all, we'll flip it up and over. And under here you'll see, it's been used quite a bit, but bless it. Um, you've got this 46 centimeter beautiful blade. Um, it's a steel blade. Uh, it's got a plastic deck underneath here, as you can see. Uh, it's also got hidden underneath here, a DC motor, which is for this self-drive unit. So this is a self-drive unit. Um, it nearly cuts the edge, close as putting down possible, basically. It's part of the works nitro range, which means that it's uh, got nitro-like power. Basically means it's near as makes a difference, it's basically a petrol model. Um, it also features uh, a very cool function, so when it's in storage, it stores upright. And then on the back of the grass collector, this is a, I think it's a 50 litre grass collector. Um, it's got these little hooks. These little hooks hook on the back. It's very difficult to do from this angle, I will tell you for now. But they got these little locating lugs. And it kind of sits. He says it does. There you go. Sits in the back there and stores nice and compact. Uh, that's very, very cool. Um, it also features a mulching plug which goes in the back through the trap door at the back. Um, and yeah, it's, it's very nice. It's, uh, you would have thought with a plastic deck it makes it quite lightweight. That's a little bit of a fallacy because uh, it doesn't. I think this weighs about 30 odd kilos. It's quite a bear moth. Uh, it also features these handles back up. The stretch, it's real. Um, what does it feature? <laughs> uh, it's got the flip up front here, so if you guys want to come in, of course you do. You reset the shot. Uh, you need to go down a bit, don't you? Ah, there you are. Fortunately, because it's so big, I've got to kind of like keep it out. Let's readjust you. Boom. Straight you up a bit. Come down. There we are. Right. And there we have you. Um, annoying. Yes. Very. Um, for the price point, it is. I would have paid top and tape me up or £10, £100 more. Just keep this up very annoying but uh, in the package you included uh, two of these four amp batteries and a dual charger the dual charger charges these up um, one of them in one hour and both of them in two hours you've also got a safety key in the front here this prevents you from accidentally starting it when it's like this We're now live. Um, it's got height adjustment on it, though it is worth noting that this demo model, which I received from Works, um, the uh, it was originally brand new. Right from out the back, uh, out the bat, the height adjuster uh, spring tensioner system doesn't work, so I can only have five uh, height adjustments on it. Rather annoying, if I'm honest. Um, but there we go. Have to live with that. Um, so height six and seven. Uh, it's worth noting through the going through the heights. You've got height numbers one through to seven. One is 20 mil, two is 30 mil, three is 40 mil, four is 50 mil, 
five is 60 mil, six is 70 mil, and seven is 80 mil. I hope I got that right because basically each number uh, plus 10 mil, so it's one is 10 mil plus a 10 mil equals 20 mil, two is 20 mil plus 10 is 30 mil. Yeah, it works like that basically. So the highest you can go up to is 80 mil and the lowest you can go down to is 20 mil. Uh, not exactly fantastic for your grass connoisseurs who like sub 20 mil, but then you wouldn't be using a rotary mower to go down sub 20 mil. Um, all my grass at the moment is being uh, set at 20 mil now. Previous tests, we mo uh, moved down to 50 mil, but I am now in the middle of summer, so I have to lower my, uh, my range. And also I don't think this would be fair to test against the previous two mowers because they are in the subcompact category and these are in the full size category. Therefore, this and the WG761 are both going to be tested on 20 mil cut heights. Um, but I'll go through that a bit. Uh, it does have two handles for what it's worth. <sighs> it's really heavy. Um, I don't really see why it's got two handles on it. You don't want to be picking that up really. Um, but if you do have to, it has a handle here and a handle there. A kinetic lift is recommended. Um, Runtime, um, I don't really know if I'm honest. It's been adequate. Um, I've got about 800 uh, square meters at the rear of my garden and about 70 odd uh, square meters at the front of my garden. And it mows both of them adequately. I will say the cut on this is superior. I don't know if it's the type of blade it's got. It has got a mulching type blade. It's very similar to the WG761. I just find the cut is better. Um, it's a lot smoother. And everyone likes a nice smooth cut. Um, but yeah, say so it's got a mulching plug that goes in the back here. Theoretically, it's got three modes. So the mulching plug goes in the back. Uh, so it mulches and then it spits out little tiny fine pieces. Fantastic if the dry grass is very dry. Um, it can also just spit out the back. Now this spit out the back feature is kind of a bit of an afterthought. They've got a little lug on the back here. I won't show you because it's not really worth seeing. But there's a little lug on here that allows it to spit out the back. Or you can just do like normal people would and put a bag on. Um, I will say also you can only put the bag on from the top. It's a little bit annoying, um, but yeah, there we go. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pause it and put it on the ground because the next bits, I'm not eight foot tall and I can't really take the camera up there to show you, so bear with guys and girls, for that matter. Okay guys, so back on the uh, floor this time. Uh, I do apologize for my footwear, but it's very, very hot and it's summer and I'm a Brit, so yeah, bear with. <laughs> uh, so to release the, uh, the handles, you've got two push buttons here. You push these and the aluminium handles, I might add, a lot of an upgrade compared to the previous models. Um, you've got one, two, and three heights. The third height, I would have turned around as jokingly said, I said, oh yeah, it's for um, vertically challenged individuals. But actually when you're pushing it yourself, you're far better pushing it at a lower angle. And if you're using it in self-drive mode, which I'll get onto in a second, you're actually better using it at a higher angle. This is just purely your personal preference. So when I'm using it in self-drive, you just push this button here, you set the speed that you want, and it takes off and crashes into your door. Um, but no, um, I do find as well um, that when I'm sort of either assisting or pushing it myself, bringing it down with just one notch um, really helps me to sort of like push it along, gives a better angle of attack, and then if it's really rough, a direct lower push is actually required. Um, that said, it's got two wheel drive. It does have independent, uh, I wouldn't say differential action, but um, it acts as a differential. So yeah, it is right. It's a differential action um, on the drive. Other things as well to worth note, um, it does have a safety feature, which I will just go through. So you can imagine, now upright and it would be dangerous as heck if the mower were to start like that i mean imagine a child's hand or something got caught in there yeah but it kind of knows it's probably got a gyration control thing if it's too high tilted it won't start and also it won't drive as well you can't hear it change but i dare say there is a switch somewhere in there it's like a gimbal 
Um, very clever. And I like it. Um, one thing I will say that I really, really hate about this. Now, this is going to be my honest and humble opinion, but I'm sure it's one that you'll share with me. Actually, for this to work, you kind of need to come over here. So, you can imagine you're mowing along and you're here. This is directly in my eye line um, down onto the mower. And that's fine. So, you're mowing along, you've managed to push the safety switch and turn on. Oh. And that's not really meant to happen, is it, Mike? No. Um, just pick my rug up and probably put a dirty, great big hole in it. But yeah, um, you saw there the lights. Come on, let me just get that rug out of the way. Health and safety, Mike, come on. You can hear there the IntelliCut kick, kicking in, but what you also see is these LED lights. Now these are fantastic and they work really well at this angle. But when you're over here and it's not got the, the darkness, so let's just break out into the outside world. He says, and then fire it up. Um, You can see them there, you can't see them there. So that means every time you wanna check your battery, you have to literally hover right over it. Now that doesn't sound like a pain, but trust me, it really is. Um, I think I've gone through absolutely everything. Uh, the variable speed, let's just raise it up a little bit. Five, because that's all I can do. And when we push this only, we get self-propelled mode. Going past the WG761 there. Um, and we can increase the speed. This is lowest speed it does. That's 50% speed. Before we crash into the house. And then you've got flat out mode-ish. I will be honest, it's too fast. <laughs> uh, I haven't got very long legs though, so don't take my word for it. Um, so yeah, this is uh, gonna be the little test. Obviously we're gonna go back to the front garden again and have a look over there. And uh, yeah, gonna uh, wait till like the last possible hours of the day really to try and get some decent amount of uh, dryness into the ground. And as you can see, I've already cut my rear garden today. And I use the WG761, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, it will become apparent because um, the WG761 is great when it's got really, really long. But for a class cut, you really want the WG749 which is why it comes down to this Great British Mower thing that I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna give a valid reason behind all of them. And realistically, the WG749's thing is its class cut. Um, you definitely don't wanna be chipping the blade on it because that will alter it, but the blade that comes out of the box with cuts better than any, even the cylinder mower, I'll be honest. It's uh, exquisite. But let's go and have a look at that right now and uh, we'll have a look to the front lawn in the usual manner.
guys. Let's have a look. Healthy amount of grass in there. Definitely, although it's longer cut. It's uh, definitely a healthy amount in there. I mean, I'd say it's at least half full. You're at 25 litres. I'm going to go and cut the rest of it on high speed, as you'd imagine. And uh, I'll join you guys back here in about 20 seconds. You guys want to come and have a look pretty sure we'll all agree that's a pretty full grass collection box um, it's also worth noting as well one feature i didn't really mention was the grass collector's actually got a tongue underneath here and it means that when you release the bag you don't get a shoot in here full of grass left behind it's quite a nice innovation and one that i do like but yeah, as far as battery goes, we've used a bar. That's a bit of a revelation really, because uh, previously we have had no bars of usage, but this clearly more powerful, brushless, it's got bigger cut deck, but also it's self-propelled as well, that self-propulsion method is obviously brush motor, and therefore it might be hampering some of the runtime out of it. And it does only run on two 40 volt bad batteries, so two 20 volt batteries making 40 volts. That said, I'm still quite impressed by it. I love the way that it gives it a nice lush cut. Uh, the cut on this is probably one of the best out of the range in my personal opinion. It's very subjective, but you will see the grass. If I just take a, a sample across here, you'll see the grass is cut beautifully. And it really does give it credit to that monstrous 46 centimeter blade in there. Um, but yeah, as I say, I think we'll uh, do a bit of a wrap up and uh, yeah. The lines also at Leagues are very, very good. Um, they're like tram lines, they're not like rollered lines. Uh, again, it's sort of, um, it's a bit of a, a bit of a myth. Um, believe it or not, having a rotary uh, motor like this rather than a cylinder, it doesn't give you lines, but it does help brush it forward and it gives it almost like a simulated line effect. Um, that said as well, um, the number of cuts obviously we're making as the range is getting wider and uh, it is coming down to the lefts up and downs. I'm sure you'll be able to re re watch back all the different videos and see from the WG730 30 centimetre mower, we're making lots of passes up and down. With the WG749, we've actually decreased that, hopefully, anyway. <laughs> That's the idea of it. And then obviously by the time we get to the 761, we're going to be doing, I don't know, up and down twice. <laughs> But anyway, uh, let's go wrap up and uh, we'll have a look at the, uh, the summary. So guys, the Works WG749E. Um, I'm a little bit on the fence with it, if I'm honest. Um, it's kind of trying to be something that it's not quite. Uh, so let me try and explain that. So the fact being it's self-propelled um, and it's got a 46 centimeter cut. It's trying to go for the larger cut. Um, and it does that, it's perfectly fine, and it cuts it really well. As soon as you start going into more demanding grass, you find that the battery runtime goes down, and also the, uh, the ability for it to cut really drops off quite hard. Um, the finish on it um, is still good, but I don't know, it's just not quite there. It's not quite there as an all-in-one machine. It's not a, a let's turn around and go and mow a meadow sort of thing, but it's a little bit too juicy for doing the everyday sort of like Kemp mode, you know, twice a week job. Um, the fact being it's self-propelled as well really does take it down out of the battery. I mean, if you run this no self-propelled mode, just pushing it along, you get nearly, I'd say nearly triple the runtime. That DC motor that's in there, it's just too juicy. Um, it's 46 centimeters and brushless. I think they really could have done without doing the self-propelled mode. Um, I know it's a bit scorning, but um, yeah, so be it. You know, I'm a truth man on this channel. Um, 
Also the power gauge, the fact being you have to be looking right over the top of it, even though it turns on and off, obviously when you, um, when you push, obviously when you're using it, it displays it. You can't see it, really annoying. Um, and the fact being it's like, I don't know, it's almost like it's a, it's a prototype bed for the WG761, in my personal opinion, that they decided to make. And also the price point is £450. Um, I think you could probably have done with a £350 push mower that was brushless and 46 centimetres would just be a little bit better, I think, personally, than a £450 self-propelled mower. The fact being also you've still got a plastic deck on it, a composite deck. Um, I don't know, it just, £450 seems a lot of money for something which is basically a WG779 with a little bit extra cut width and self-propelled. I think it's a £200 more and you haven't got, I think they could probably be done with maybe a 60 volt version of this. I don't know, maybe I'm a bit, being a bit too critical about it, but certainly it's nice and it's very, very good and I like it, but, and the finish it gives as well is amazing. I just think for £450, it's a little bit weird on the price point. So there you have it. A um, bit of a, a non-conclusion conclusion. I do like the cut, though. I do think that it cuts extremely well. I don't know if that's down to the specific blade, the RPMs it runs at, uh, whether or not the IntelliCut system, obviously, that it features as well, uh, makes that happen. But, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not convinced with it as a product overall, but I do like the cut. And that's very, very backwards, I know, but there you have it. Um, yeah, I look forward to seeing you in the next video, guys. Stay safe, and uh, see you on the other side.